Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It is I, not Maria, and today we are decorating for Christmas. A little bit of backstory. My partner and I bought and moved into our first home together earlier this year. So we like just, you know, barely passed the Christmas decorating. I've had a lot of fun just doing a lot of like a little decorating here and there and it's been so difficult to like be slow and methodical with my decorating because I don't just want to like buy a million things and then like not like the way that my house is decorated so I've had to be a little bit more like patient with it and it's been fine <laughs> however it means that like it's not as decorated as I really want it to be which is okay it's okay it's okay to take things slow when you're you know we bought a house this year however like I said it is our first Christmas in the house and our second Christmas holiday season in New Mexico which is really fun it's exciting and I went to Walmart the other day and I bought my Christmas tree and a bunch of little like decorations so you're going to join me today as I a take down my Halloween decorations it's Thanksgiving Day right now, so it's kind of embarrassing that it's still up. And then we're going to put up our tree and our little decorations, and it's going to be so much fun. I am so excited. I will say, get cozy, get comfy. I brewed, brewed, I made myself some peppermint tea that is steeping right now in my Igualdad cup from Target's Pride collection this year literally makes me so happy but get cozy get comfy you know maybe you could start decorating anyways we need to start just by clearing out some space and picking up the million cat toys we've gotten so just head into that so I have this box from New Egg that I'm going to use to put all my Halloween spoils not that I have very much but it's going to safely stay in here for next season sure I have everything if not almost everything in here my partner is streaming in the game room so I can't go in there right now well not that I can't but I'm not gonna go in there and interrupt his stream especially since he sounds like he's having a really good time and you know really community um creating a community so I'm gonna leave this box open if I find anything else I'm gonna dump it in here I put some of my like plushies in here and then some of the Halloween cat toys. We're missing the little cat toy. <coughs> Cutest thing ever. But that's okay because she's getting a little Christmas tree. So it's it's okay to put this away for next year. Plus, it'll be really nice for them to... Oh, I feel bad. Wait, I wonder if you can like see it. That's me. I'll leave him out. I feel bad putting him away. I can't do it. Especially if she starts carrying him around. I found the cutest little tiny stockings for the cats, however, they didn't match the aesthetic. 
So I bought um, two yards of two different types of fabric. One in black, one in like a creamy color. This is like a knit fabric. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like a very knitted fabric. It's really cute. And then I got this more like felt type situation. We'll see which one I choose. I might go with a little bit of like a both. And then I thought it'd be kind of cute to like maybe like have this part in this color. I don't know. I feel like that'll make it nice and cozy. Everything else though is going to be linked to the tree. Starting with our Christmas tree, which is three feet tall. It's pre-lit, pre-bulbed. It says there's 70 pre-strung clear mini lights. Any noises you hear in the background is Daphne running around with the toys, so. I have three places where I'd like to put it. But I don't know which one to choose, you know what I mean? So you're gonna help me you're gonna help me choose, kind of, kind of. I got a little mini tree skirt. I don't know if it's gonna be big enough. It should be. Should it be? <laughs> it should be, but it's not. I always have a bunch of fabrics that I could also turn into a tree skirt. I got this cute little garland. It's six feet long and it's got little like raccoons and foxes and bears and little tiny trees. And I thought this would be really cute to like either string it around or string it around somewhere in the house. I couldn't pass it up. It was $13. But I couldn't pass it up. It's so cute. And okay, this is also for the tree. And I got this little mice on a ladder ornament. This is, um, this is what they're going to look like. It doesn't have to go on the tree, but they're too cute to not get, okay? Everything else, though, is 100% an ornament. Actually, you know what? No. I have the tree topper. We've got a black tree topper. Everything else, though, after this will be an ornament. Like, this little man! Oh my god, look, he's holding a tiny tree! You're going to very quickly tell what the theme is. But look at these! And then I got some little like pine cones, some like bigger pine cones, and then a smaller thing of pine cones. And then I was like, oh, well, you know, it can't just be animals and pine cones. So I got like actual ornaments. Um, these are glass and they're tiny. And I was like, oh, these are kind of cute, especially like, I don't think you can see it, but they have like little, there's some of them that have little Christmas trees and or pine trees and little like reindeer and some of them like these are just like glittery ones and these two are glittery like the top ones in the bottom row and the two in the center have a little like tree or reindeer so cute black white gold and then I'm like well you know I don't know if this is enough ornaments <laughs> for my tree so let me just get a big old box of ornaments. This is 40 shatterproof ornaments. We've got them all black, all cool textures. I wanted to get some like gold ones or even just champagne. And it was so difficult to find any of those colors. I'm setting you up with this as the background for now because it is, I have some pretty intense light coming from the like living room window right behind you. And it's making the lighting super weird. So I'm just gonna set up my little tree. Okay. She needs a little bit of zhuzhing. Um, but it kind of seems like most of her pine needles are like facing towards the front. So what I might do, let's, I think now we can like move her before I actually put anything on it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Over here. I don't mind that. Because then my other... Like, considering how small it is for it to go up here. Right? But I'm scared of it. You know, and then subsequently, you know. So I think I am just going to set up right here.
She is complete. Cue the montage.